Hello everyone, welcome to Stapeford Parish Kids Online. I'm Ruth. I'm Peter. And here we are in St Helens Church. And what are we standing by here? The amazing Advent wreath. Doesn't it look incredible? Advent, yes. We're in the countdown to Christmas, aren't we, suddenly? We are. It's getting quite exciting. I wonder what kind of things you do at home to get ready for Christmas. Mm. Maybe get some decorations up. Maybe some of you are thinking on Tuesday, I think it's the 1st of December, Advent calendar. We have one here that we use. Oh, <gasps> some chocolate. And one here that tells the Christmas story every day. I wonder what yours is like. And I think we should get on a light this, shouldn't we? Because we're stood yes. by our wreath. And if you were in church now, you might be coming up to help me light the candle. Sometimes you have problems lighting it, don't we? Shall we see? Let's hope it works. That's a good start. Good start. Beautifully made by Annette, this was. It's incredible. Yeah, thank you to Annette. Mm. Shall we say a little prayer? Mm. Lord, thank you for Christmas coming soon. All these candles seems a long time to wait. All these weeks, help us prepare our hearts to welcome you, the light of the world. Amen. Amen. And one thing we thought might be nice, I know a few people are making these Advent wreaths at home. And if you'd like to do that, and we thought maybe every Sunday at seven o'clock, you could light a candle and we could pray for each other. So that might be something that you want to do. So we're gonna do the looking song now. And uh, when we've done this in church before, you have to look up, first of all, you're gonna look up and clap and point to the sky, see the greatness of the Lord. And then you're going to look down and you're going to stamp your feet twice boom, boom, and hold, fold your arms, feeling humble, feeling small. And then you have to click your fingers looking back. Look back to the day that Jesus came. That was when he was born. And then you swing your arms forward, look forward with joy. He's coming back again but then you have to wait just that little bit longer to do the two claps at the end. So just wait a little bit more. Here we go. We're gonna try it three times so you get it after the third. Look up, see the greatness of the Lord. Look down, feeling humble, feeling small. Look back. To the day that Jesus came, look forward with joy, he's coming back again. Look up, see the greatness of the Lord, look down, feeling humble, feeling small. Look back, to the day that Jesus came, look forward with joy, he's coming back again. Look up. See the greatness of the Lord, look down Feeling humble, feeling small, look back To the day that Jesus came, look forward with joy He's coming back again Hey, well done! Oh, thank you for that Peter, hope you enjoyed that song And now we're going to watch a little clip which tells us a little bit more about Advent Advent is a time of preparation. We're preparing to celebrate Jesus' birth on Earth, on Christmas Day. Advent begins on the fourth Sunday before Christmas, and Advent ends on Christmas Eve. Christmas Day starts another season on the Christian calendar, but that's another story. So Advent is a time we prepare for Christmas, and it's four weeks long. But what does that mean? How do we prepare? Well, there are lots of things we do. We use candles to count down to Christmas, we decorate our house for Christmas, and we use Advent calendars to count the days until Christmas. Those are great things to do to prepare for the most wonderful day of the year. But we aren't just supposed to get things and stuff ready we're supposed to get our hearts ready. We don't celebrate Christmas to get and give presents and to decorate and be merry. We do all those things because Jesus was born on earth on Christmas and when he grew up 
He died on the cross to save anyone who believes in him from hell. He gave us the best present ever, so we celebrate his birthday every year. In church, we light five candles to celebrate Advent, and these can help us prepare our hearts and our lives for Christmas every year. The first candle we light is for hope. Before Jesus died on the cross, people since Adam and Eve had hope that God would fulfill his promise and send a savior to the world. And he did on Christmas Day, the first Christmas Day. And now we have hope that Jesus will return to earth a second time like God promises us in the Bible. The second candle we light is for peace. We don't have peace on earth because we're all sinners. We can work for peace because we love Jesus, but we'll never really achieve it because no one is perfect. But when Jesus comes again, there will be real peace all over earth. The third candle is for joy. We can be happy and joyful because of different circumstances in our lives, but real joy comes from God and it's deep down inside of us. Christmas is a time to learn to be joyful. It's easy to be joyful at Christmas, but we should be joyful all the time because we have Jesus. The fourth candle is for love. God loved us so much he sent his only son to suffer and die for us. And Jesus loved us so much he was willing to suffer and die for us. And Jesus didn't just suffer on the cross, he suffered on earth too. He was sick and sad and hungry at times, just like we can be. He came from perfect and beautiful heaven to live in a sinful world. When someone loves you, they will do hard things to help you. The candle we light in the middle of the wreath is for Jesus. It's the Christ candle. We have all heard Jesus is the reason for the season, but let's live that this Advent. Put Jesus at the center of the season. Sure, preparing and decorating and getting gifts is great, but preparing our hearts to live for Jesus every day of the year is the most important gift we can give to God and other people. Take time every week this Advent to learn about the hope we have in Jesus, the peace we have in Jesus, the joy and the love we have in Jesus. We take a few weeks to prepare for Christmas, but we can prepare our hearts to spread God's love all year round. Hello, welcome back to the craft section. Today we've got lots of Advent crafts looking forward to Christmas. Now, unfortunately, we can't all meet together in the church this year on this first Sunday of Advent to light the candle on our Advent wreath. So I've made one that you can have at home. So this one is made out of uh, a paper plate and I've cut out some holly shapes and then I've stuck on some cardboard tubes to pretend to be the candles. You can decorate it with some holly berries or some stars or some stickers or any, any way that you might like. And then each Sunday as we go through Advent, you can light the candle with a paper flame and just place it in and it won't burn down. Now, more traditional Advent cal calendars start on the 1st of December and count through every day until Christmas Day. So you can make one like this, which <laughs> makes us excited about the birth of Jesus. So I've drawn Mary and Joseph and put them in the stable. And then I've written numbers, one through to number 24 here. And then each day you can put a star on the number. Now I've got these stars from a packet of craft stars, but you could cut out your own if you haven't got any. And then on Christmas Eve, I've got a big star to go over the stable. And then on Christmas Day, I will be able to put my picture of Jesus to finish it off. Now, as a parish, we're wanting to uh, try and spread the news of Jesus and get everybody involved by putting stars in our windows. 
Now I've drawn this one on some black paper and I've done it with um, light coloured crayons and I've put a bit of glitter on mine. But you don't have to use black paper, you could use white paper, you could uh, put some silver foil on it or just uh, make it all shiny. But then try and put on there somewhere something along the lines of Jesus is the reason for the season or um, don't forget the reason for the season. And then when you go out for your walks, maybe you can have a little look in, in the windows and see how many stars you can see over the next few weeks leading up to Christmas. Then finally, as a church, we wanted to have a, a nativity trail or a nativity hunt uh, around the churchyard. And so we're encouraging people to paint stones. So I've painted this one and hopefully you'll realise it's supposed to look a bit like Mary. Um, but we would like other people to paint stones at home and then um, drop them off at the church, leave them by the side entrance, hopefully by the 5th of December, which is Saturday next week. Um, and if you take a picture of what you've uh, painted on your stone and send it on the church uh, email address or post it on Facebook, then other people can know what characters have been drawn and, and maybe draw something different. But we need shepherds, angels, a wise man or two, maybe some sheep or a camel um, or even an innkeeper. Um, need to paint them though in something that will withstand the weather. So I've used acrylic paint for this one. If you haven't got any acrylic paint, you could use ordinary paint or pens and then perhaps put a layer of clear varnish over the top because it's um, going to be out in the weather uh, and we don't want the paint to, to wash off. Um, my cameraman has just suggested Sharpies, that's a very good idea, but something that won't wash off in the wet because uh, I think it probably will rain between now and Christmas. And then when they're all out, um, you can go around the churchyard and see how many of the characters from the nativity you can find. I hope you'll find this fun. If you have any questions about the stones or the stars or anything else, you can always email the church uh, email address and, and somebody will get back to you. Thank you. Bye bye. Well, thank you, Angela, for all those crafts. I loved those ideas. They were great, weren't they? And hopefully yeah. some of you can be doing those this week. Bring your stones along because church will be open next Sunday with tables and activities. And then the following Sunday, we will have Sunday school. So remember to book in for that. It'd be great to see you. And I think there's something else, isn't it? I know some of you are rehearsing your little clips for our nativity. Yeah, I'm so keep to going that. on those. I am looking forward to that. Yeah. Always great, isn't it, the nativity? So let's see what that's gonna bring. Should be fun. Well, we're gonna finish our time uh, quietly. So we won't be having a wind up Amen today. We're just gonna have a, a softly prayer and then I'm gonna sing us a, a nice peaceful song to finish with. So I think if we're gonna do that, we need to dim the lights. Good plan, good plan. You might want to dim your lights at home if you've got them on. Wow. Shall we say a prayer? Mm. Dear Lord Jesus, help us to prepare our hearts to welcome you this Advent and Christmas. We look back to your amazing birth in Bethlehem and we look forward to when you will come again and you will help make this world right. Help us now to welcome you into our homes and our families and friends. We pray, pray you would bless every one of them. Help us all stay strong and healthy. Help us all with the coronavirus to be strong and happy and helping one another. Thank you, Lord, for being with us during this time. Amen. I will wait for your peace to come to me. I will wait for your peace to come to me. 
and await in the darkness, and await without fear, and await in the darkness, and await without fear. I Ooh.